بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدي محمد الرسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم The creation is everything that Allah Ta'ala created. So everything that exists other than Allah, this is known as creation. And the creation, as you know, is vast. You have the upper realm and you have the lower realm and what is between the two. When we say upper realm in terms of the creation, we are referring to things such as the Grand Arsh of Allah, which is the ceiling of paradise. Then we have Al-Jannah, paradise itself, and Al-Kursi, as well as Al-Lawh Al-Mahfuz, the guarded tablet in which everything is written, and then As-Samawatu Saba, the seven skies. So this is some of what exists in the creation in the upper realm. In the lower realm, we have this earth, with its mountains and its oceans, its trees, and so on. Underneath it, there are six other earths, and underneath that, we have hellfire. This is the, or this is some of what we have in the lower realm. And in between the two, there is a gap. In this gap, there are the sun, moon, stars and planets and whatever else Allah Ta'ala eternally willed to be between these two realms, the upper and the lower. So all of this is creation. Everything other than Allah is creation. Because Allah is its creator. Now all of the creation, so anything that you can imagine in your mind, that is creation, obviously, it comes under one of two categories. One of two categories. It's either going to be a body or it's going to be an attribute of a body. Now, when we say body here, when the Muslims, Ahlu Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, when they said body, then they were very specific. They didn't mean something that has a length, width or a depth. Rather, what they actually meant was anything that occupies a space. Anything that occupies a space. Now, there are things that occupy a space that don't have a length, width and depth. So they wouldn't be, if you will, three-dimensional, but they occupy a space. This is the definition of a body, as we're going to go on to see. This is a hajam. And then you have sifatul hajam, or in other words, al-arad. Al-arad is the attribute of this body. That's it. This is the creation. Either it is a hajam, if you will, a body, or the attribute of a body. And now we will give details about that. But to mention why we're going into this topic about what the creation is, we want to detail the creation so we can understand what the creation actually is, so that then afterwards we can say, look, look, all of this is creation, and therefore Allah is not like it. All of this is what Allah created and hence it is impossible that Allah would be anything like it. So, we have examples of palpable and impalpable bodies. The first example is of a glass bottle. A glass bottle you can grasp in your hand. So, this is a palpable body. Then you have the impalpable body like fire. Okay, so the glass bottle, let's take it first. Does it have a volume? Does it have a size? Does it occupy a space? The answer is yes. This tells us that because it occupies a particular space, it is limited 
to that particular size and something that is limited is weak and something that is weak is creation this is very obvious likewise fire fire has a volume fire has a size but why is it impalpable and non-tangible because you can't grab fire you can't pull it towards yourself but it has a size so it is a hajm and therefore it is limited to that hajm Allah willed it willed for it to be like that and therefore because it is limited it is weak and it is creation this is an example of a palpable and impalpable body now we will look at the attributes of bodies inshallah if you want to read then you can pause and read what is below that is what i just explained next the examples of attributes of bodies running is an attribute of a body as is uh, as are other things that we will mention so imagine a person is running what does that mean that means that there is a body something that occupies a space i.e this person and the attribute of the body which is running the attribute of the body it must be attributed to a body in order for the attribute of the body to exist it can't exist by itself so it shows that the attribute of the body is dependent upon the body that thing which is dependent is weak and that thing which is weak is limited and that which is weak and limited must be creation likewise you take the example of a brick wall a red wall the wall is a body and it being red is an attribute of a body red the attribute of the body cannot exist on its own without a body so the body the wall uh, so, so so this body that is the wall if it, it joins with the uh, attribute of the body red we get a red wall walhamdulillah was salatu was salamu ala sayyidi rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wasallam